My name is Carmen Nottingham and I'm the self-appointed earthworm translator on this planet. I'm an earthworm farmer. We produce a fertilizer, an organic fertilizer that heals the soil from cow manure. But the other hat that I wear is um, waste management because the thing is the very same process that earthworms do to produce the fertilis is the process that they use to um, convert all kinds of waste. So it would be from abattoir offal to sewage sludge to garden waste, food waste, to grow their own bodies. They digest any pathogens, pathogens which are harmful organisms. This is where we feed them food waste um, and as you can see, this brown stuff here is not soil. This is actually what they have made. There are 5,000 species of earthworms on the planet, and there are only about three that are used commercially. This is my earthworm farm. What we have here is all my earthworm beds. You don't ever see the earthworms in here unless we actually dig in because they, they stay somewhere in the middle because we feed on the one side and we harvest on the other. But we keep it covered because it retains the moisture, keeps out the UV light. They get very, very stressed when they are exposed to open air or when they're exposed to UV light because of the, the rays are very harmful to them. Once the earthworms have processed the manure, we sift it and bag it. In India and um, in China, in America, in Canada, you know, there are people who do these huge earthworm um, waste management projects where they actually have the product that they sell for, the, for soil rehabilitation. And it's taking a long time for it to pick up in Africa. It's not really capital intensive. Um, there's no machinery involved other than the, the sifting machines. I work a lot with, um, with food garden uh, communities. Basically, this creates opportunity for work. If you have healthy soil, then you start cleaning up the groundwater levels. Then you can start to plant tolerant plants where the root system, you know, like there's certain trees and shrubs and grasses that then will have a better chance of establishing because they've got the microorganism life in it from the waste that the earthworms have produced. And we can start healing the planet.